to Wine Library TV. I am your host, Gary Bay, Ner Chuck. And this, my friends, is The Thunder Show, AKA The Internet's Most Passionate Wine Program, episode 800. We have done 800 of these things, and so, nothing too crazy, didn't think we would go out somewhere or do anything too insane. Just figured that I would bring on everybody's favorite all-time guest, my father, Sasha Vaynerchuk. Dad, thanks for joining me on episode. You're my pleasure. Well, I haven't finished episode 800. My pleasure. You have anything to say to the Vayner Nation? Hello, everybody, and um, I'm wishing you all happy and a healthy new year and all the best in this year and more years to come. That's very nice, Dad. I appreciate it. Um, and so. I should also congratulate you because now you are a grandfather for the second time as we announced yesterday. Right. Max, your wonderful daughter Elizabeth's right, right. newborn son. What do you uh, what do you think about that? Well, it's uh, it's definitely wonderful and Don't forget he will see this one. I know, I know. You know, he will I see this one. Very it's, you got you, you want right. to you want to do this properly. Yeah, right, properly. Right. Right, right. We all know that. Right. Uh, very happy for uh, Liz and Justin. And is that mine, Max? Yeah. Chris. And uh, yeah, Max born, Max. Uh, uh, Liam. Liam. Max Liam. I got your back, Dad. Max Liam born yesterday at uh, 7 or 3 p.m. Uh, seven pound, three ounce. Ironic. Ironic, you know, someone for you. He's already, yeah. you know, with the numbers, you like that stuff. Yeah, I like this guy. And his stuff. first birthday and first next year. His birthday next year is going to be 1, 11, 11. All ones. All ones. Wow. That's very cool. Right. And it's his first birthday. And hopefully he's going to one day play for Jets. Agreed. I love, love <laughs> Let's that. go Jets. Yes, agreed. <laughs> well, you know, by then I think, you know, 20, maybe by then I could own them and Force it or to we'll all, all together, no? Well, yeah, if you'd like to be part of the buying team, Dad, that's fine. Okay. All right, so we have Amarone wines. My favorite. Your favorite yeah. all-time wines. Well, it's true. No, listen, uh, I know that. I announced on uh, one of the episodes, I don't remember I which think you one. declared I, it. Yeah, I declared it. <laughs> and, uh, no, I really love Amarone's. I okay. really do. So, uh... uh Cabernet and Napa caps and all these California caps, excuse me. Number and one. is it true that when you came in earlier and I had white wines set up here to tape the episode, you poo-pooed them and said, I don't want to do white wine, and kind of like left and said, I'll come back and do red Actually, wines. the reason was behind, I was hoping I can bring uh, some of my favorite wines, uh, what we sell in the store, and, uh, and try them. And of course, uh, that guy, the idea was killed. Right, because this is not a selling platform. I'm not, uh, I didn't say, uh, okay, yeah. we're, we're not going to. Get into that debate. You opened the can. I did. I, 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 we can rewind well, the film. Uh, uh, thank you guys. Thanks, bro. Thank you. Well, thanks. thanks, Kate. Yeah, obviously. All right, so Kate. Dad has some food. <laughs> thank God. Case, what kind of cheese is this? This is Dona Manuela. It's a raw goat from Spain. Raw goat from Wash Spain. Wine, so it has that little bit of a funkiness to it. Can you send Mont the link so we can link yeah, it up? Absolutely. Thank you. It smells mm. good. Mm -hmm. Okay. I love it. Anyway. Anyway, so, we're not going to get into that, right? Well, there's nothing to get into. We can't put anything on the show that we have more than 10 cases of. Who made this rule? Me. It's my show, Dad. It's amazing. Anyway, you want to see something really? You show my company. Yes, yeah, your company. <laughs> I like that. Good deal. A great deal for you. For both of us. Agreed. You want to drink some wine? Absolutely. Okay. And I don't spit more wine, so I don't have to. You don't have to act cool for them. They already know you're cool. What do we have in there? And you didn't tell the story about the glass. The big ass glass? Yeah. What about it? You just well, I walked. I walked in with a small. Wait, I walked in a glass. He saw my glass was bigger. And that was unacceptable. Yeah. Right. He's very competitive with me. It's unhealthy. Not, not with just with you. With everybody. Right. But with your children, aren't you supposed to aspire for them to be Absolutely. better? Absolutely. But since but I already you know accomplished what? that anyway, it doesn't bother you. <laughs> no. Right. Yeah, I hear I'm you. very happy for you. Good. All right, Brigaldi. Wait till my book comes out. <laughs> <laughs> Briga Al Arby, 2005, Amarone. Um, 90 points, Antonio Galani. All three of these are 90 points, Galoni. 50 US dollars. This is a blend of Corvina, Randonio, and Modardi. Uh, and um, let's see what's going on here. Did you give it a sniffy sniff? You're already done drinking. Sniffy sniff. What do you think of the nose? Yes, I own everything. Misha owns everything. 
So don't worry. What uh, what's on the snippy snip? That's pretty good. That's uh. You like it or don't? Yeah, it's. Just... I'm actually kind of down on it. I think it's a little bit more green. You know, normally with an amarone, you're gonna get a big raisin fruit coming through. You know, these are dry grapes. You get a little what's bit of that raisin. Though, these are all '05s. Very good vintage in Veneto. Really good wines. Uh, big producers. All 90 pointers. To me, the nose is a little bit more green than I expected. And how was the 04? 04 was also solid. <laughs> a little more solid in Tuscany, but 05 is a, a very good vintage, but very young for Amarone, of course. Yes. You know? Let's give it a whirl. I really it. It's, um,. Well, what do you think? It's okay. You don't love it? Uh, I don't love it. I agree. I think it's kind of thin and a little green. Right, it's thin. It's, it's green. That's the same thing I tasted on the nose. But it's thin. Um, it doesn't have. It doesn't have the normal viscosity of an Amarone. Um, it's it's a little thin. Uh, the tannins are very bitter. Um, it's got a little tobacco leaf on the back end, but just not very well structured. And overall, just a little bit disappointing. Um, you know, 90 points Galoni, to me this is more like an 85 point wine. I don't think it's a, uh, oh my, very good. Wesley Walker, big Jets game this weekend. Anyway, um, oh. and uh, I, I just don't, uh, I don't feel it. Yeah, it's, uh, it didn't do anything. Okay. Sorry. No worries. You don't see me very much. Dump. Both, right. Yes. All right, let's move on to the next wine. The Tomasi. Amarone, 2005, 90 points Coloni, 50 bones, 50% Corvina, 15 uh, Corvinach, uh, 30 Rondania, and 5 Molinati. Let's uh, give a little rinse, Dad. It's a little rinse for that plant. Do you come on the show to eat? No. You're just always hungry at this point since you I'm never hungry. eat lunch. I'm hungry. I didn't have lunch. Or breakfast. For breath. I only You've been eating for, unhealthy for for uh, all this uh, thirty years. Thirty years. I hear you. Then you taught me those bad habits. I also I'm eat sorry. unhealthy. Really? Mm -hmm. What do you mean, really? Well, uh, I'm hoping Lizzie is going to change that. Well, Lizzie's definitely giving me she, some good she's definitely habits. A good thing. Sniffy sniff first. Smell. What's going on in the smell? <laughs> I was waiting for the smell, not for you to drink it. Oh, that's better. What about the snippy sniff? Okay. Oh, not okay. What do you think? Okay. That's uh, have a nice uh, bouquet. It's the far as uh, a little berries or something. You know. I don't know. I mean, I, it's, that's it's where, your, yeah, you know, yeah. I, I definitely think it's got a better nose. It definitely, definitely. has a little bit more chocolate to it. Mm. There's like a shredded kind of cocoa kind of thing component. Cocoa. Little, little like licorice and, mm -hmm. and dark fruit. No, 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 no it's, it's good. It's a, definitely a better and, nose. And it's better, better thing. You can really see the difference. Big difference. Big difference. Just a much thicker, meatier wine. It's got almost like a meatiness to it. Like you like take a steak and squeeze the juice out of it. Mm. You know, right? Kind of like a meatiness, right? It's good. It's got very great length. Um, dark chocolate, dark dark fruit. Uh, you, you know, Corvina is really the grape bridal. That's the backbone of uh, of Amarone. It's usually forty to seventy percent of the breakdown blend. Um, and uh, this one's 50%, and you can really taste it coming through. It, it's got great structure, great backbone, and uh, um, I absolutely like it. You know, the uh, Corbion, which is 15% of this wine, also adds a little bit of complexity to it. I like it, it's got much more length. And it's funny, Dad, you know, you probably think like I do, which is, you know, when you think about Tomasi, back in the day, those, oh, they were, God. they were, that was 100 years ago. Those were the only two Amarones right. we carried were Tomasi 
and Bertani when I first right. started working. Bertani, and then, you can drink because it takes a hundred years to mature. Or so they like to think. No, but it's uh, it's uh, I, I, I've never been big on Bertani, but you're right, Tomasi used to buy from Monsieur Tutan. Right. Um, very good. Been around for a few years, right? I've been around longer than you, Dad. Chicken before yeah, the egg. Yeah, right, right. The egg. Oh, here yeah. we go. The egg um, came before the chicken. Uh, I really, I really, really I think this is well made. I, I think Galoni might have even underscored this. For me, this is 91 plus point wine. A great Emma Oh, Galoni. definitely it's over 90 point, 92, 93. Yeah, 92, so 93. Definitely. Sasha V. Um, yep. A really no, well no, no, made wine. It's, it's definitely. You like it? Yeah. I'm excited to see what we think of the next wine. Come on. We, we got the next one. You can go back to it. Okay. Right? See? Yeah. Logic, Logic prevails. I always say uh, Yeah, that's, that's your common thing. sense. Common sense you like. You define that as street smarts, by the way. Mm -hmm. All right. Little rinse, Dad. That was a little bit too big of a pour, sorry. Yeah. Look at how much wine we mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. Somebody's going to say this guy is... These guys are what? Wasting so much. You dumped the first wine. Wait a minute. Tedeschi, 2005, Amaroni. Great package. 30 Corvina, 30 Corvion, uh, 30 Randania, and uh, and rounded out 10% uh, of Rosagalino, some of the other indigenous grapes. 90 points Antonio Galoni. So across the board, these are uh, 90 point Galoni wines, which you know, is a tough starch critic. Um, and, uh, and this one's 36 bones. So whereas the other two were in the $50 price range, um, this one is Thirty-six dollars. I heard you loud and clear. And do you know who number thirty-six is on the Jets? Is no. Jim Leonard, little white guy in the background. Oh, a little white guy. I love him. Did you see the hit he did on the guy in the Bengals? So he fell on his head. The white guy. Well, he's a little white guy. That's what he is. Mm, he is. Did you see the hit he made on the guy? Yep. Land on his head, incomplete pass. Yes, that's a big play. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Snippy well, snippet. We're not gonna. Are we getting to Jets? We're always talking Jets, Dad. What do you think? How about Patriots? I know. How God, delicious. They got killed. <laughs> what do you think yeah. of Bill Belichick, Dad? I don't want to call names. Or, he's a traitor. That's it. That's it. That's it. To me, it's, that's it. Cut and dry. Yeah. I don't know what happened behind the closed door because that's the title to my book going to be What's Going On Behind Closed Doors. Oh, I like that. Yeah. It's going to yeah. be a big, 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 big book. It's big. I'm sure yeah, I'm going to know. I can allow just you to be the famous guy uh, come from, uh, my, my, you know, my Bruce. I, I, I have to be mentioned, too. Because you have to be competitive with me. Absolutely. With anybody. I, uh, listen, I, I'm right. not asking for any no. favors. What do you think? I don't know. It's a little different, you know. It actually doesn't smell like a maroon. I mean, yeah, I, you know what? I think that's a very good point, actually. You know. I think um, I think it's a little bit more vibrant yeah, and has a little bit more fruit. It smells a little, almost more California esque, you know, like that's it. The fruit is bigger on this one. If if you put it in a brown bag, I would never ever guess that. There's almost like a citrus component on the back end of the nose. I'm very surprised. Let's give it a whirl. Actually, I, I was, I'll be honest with you, I was expecting not not good things. Okay. But it's not too bad. It's a little bit different from Tomasi, I think it's a real typical Amarone. Real typical. This Textbook. One, yeah. Do this, you like this one? It's kind of like an, you know, I would I would think you'd like it because it's almost like an imaginary blend yeah, of, of Amarone meets Cabernet, mm -hmm. you know? Not bad. Big not, fruit. Not, I, not bad. Very heavy on the cocoa, coffee kind of thing going on, you know? Mm -hmm. Very coffee-like. Um, dark, dark fruit. The tannins are bitter with a hint of fruit. So it's kind of like half and half tannins. It's well-structured. There's a little sunshine there. There's definitely one a little bit more over the top than the other two and does not go as typical to an Amarone, but still clearly a fairly solid drink. I mean, I don't know, I'm not as in love with it. Um, I think it's a little no, bit, but you know, it's like an 89 point wine to me. And at 36 bones, I probably wouldn't buy it. Um, but it's solid. Mm -hmm. It's not It's not awful. 
and definitely at the price point, uh, especially for people that like the ripe, you know, a lot of you guys have busted my chops on Molly Duker and, and some of those big wines. would be the under 20. Very possibly. Um, it's a, uh, it's a, it's a very solid, uh, solid wine and, you know, if you want to expand your palate and have an Amadoni, it's obviously an attractive price point. Excuse me. Yeah, she's, uh, okay, Dad. It's kind so, of a show, I, you know, nothing too anything, crazy. Anything. 800, we just do it straight, no, no bells and whistles, we, you know? Right, it's no, you, you get know, to ask the no. question of the day, though. <clears throat> question of the day, it's a short show, right? Mm -hmm. you know, we got a lot to do. No, no, right. so, you know, we didn't, we didn't fluff it, we just kind of got through the lines and did our we thing. We kind of, yeah, cut to the chase, right? Right? No. Just no. keeping them tight this year, Dad. 2000 year, year of tightness. Right. Um, question. Uh, I can ask the question. Yes. Should we? And I don't know when you made this policy, Mr. Case. Obviously, a while back, right? Okay. But should, well, should we? taste, or should you actually, I shouldn't even say, uh, we, should you taste anything what we, ha we have more than 10 cases? Because I have a, a wine in mind, and Gary absolutely refused for me to try this wine, I don't know why I to you, of course, because we have, you know, I, excuse me, I bought it, and I said I'm going to sell every one of them based, based on the taste, because the wine was, to me, it was very good. It's a but did you buy it before you tasted it? No. I taste no? it. Yeah. Okay. And um, and I think the wine is very good. Mm -hmm. And so is other uh, other people. Okay. I actually I actually had I sold to a customer who called me back. I'll save myself a lot of headaches. Lail two thousand five. Okay. Well, I don't want to get okay. all the emails okay. and have to deal with it. Ah. Okay. So, you know. okay. And the customer called me back. He said the wine is phenomenal. He drank it with his wife, and I. This drank is not it. a selling platform. Okay. We, we, I'm not so I'm not okay. even worried about okay. the answers from the Vayner Nation right. or from you. Okay. We're not going to put wine okay. that we okay. have quantity. Absolutely. Of. Period. Absolutely. I don't have a problem. I'm not saying you have a problem. But, okay. You, with a little bit of me, we're changing the wine world. And Dad, yeah. we're changing the wine world. 